A storm. The homes that sheltered the furry children from the wind and rain were soaked. Looking at the helpless furry child. And the dilapidated courtyard. My heart is broken. To make our furry children safer and more comfortable. Survive in the courtyard longer. I decided to replan and renovate the courtyard. The water pump where the furry children get water was destroyed by the storm. In recent days, the furry children can only go to the landlord to get water. The first thing to solve is the problem of water sources for the furry children. We bought a new water pump for our fur kid and contacted the worker. Dig a well in the yard to solve the problem of long-term water supply for furry children. There have been heavy rains recently, even though many protective measures have been taken in advance. Couldn't withstand the storm. The rain spread throughout the courtyard. After the rainstorm, the courtyard was in a mess and covered with moss. All facilities must be improved step by step in an orderly manner. Delicious, huh? Delicious, rich. Watching the busy back of the well digger. We know that life is not easy for everyone. After more than two hours of hard work. Finally, the water was pumped out. The first step of the plan has been sold for the fur kids. The landlord also rushed over to help us as soon as possible. Clear out all the unused items in the yard. The water in the courtyard has completely dried up. But the ground is full of mud and moss. No room for your furry friends to move around. Every time I go out to play, I'm covered in mud. We are also considering whether to put cement pads on the furry children. But the cost of the 200 square meters of cement floor in the courtyard is too high. But seeing the furry kid has nowhere to go because of the rain. We finally decided to find a solution. The courtyard is low-lying and there is no drainage in the yard. Every rainy season, the courtyard will be flooded. To solve the problem from the root, we need to dig a sewer for the courtyard. This can really solve the problem of water accumulation in the courtyard. This can really solve the problem of water accumulation in the courtyard. This can really solve the problem of water accumulation in the courtyard. After some negotiation with the master, the sewer control for the courtyard has also entered the starting state. After experiencing this storm, we also found that there were many problems in the courtyard. The irrigation with rainwater left the furry children without water. The yard is full of water and the furry kid has nowhere to go. Electrical appliances, daily necessities, water source for fur kids, dog food. We suffered heavy losses in this rainstorm. Everything starts from scratch. To protect your furry children from the harm of heavy rain in the next step. Our courtyard actively made rectification plans as soon as the rainstorm ended. All issues that may endanger the life and safety of furry children. Idea to solve. Find ways to solve them one by one. Although everything is easy to say. But it's also hard work. In order to save some labor costs. We choose to do many things ourselves.
watching the saw pipes being covered by mud bit by bit. The drainage problem of the courtyard was also successfully solved. Hello everyone, I am Liangzi. Today is one of the few days when the sun comes out here. It was cloudy for a while. There was no rain in the past two days. No rain, but very hot and humid. Today the sun is seven, this period of time. Our courtyard is special tide, because our area is relatively low-lying, always in, always doing. We kept pumping water for the past two days, but the effect is not too great. Just make sure there is no water in the yard, but it's really too damp down there, because it rains all the time during this period. In addition, the water accumulation during this period, moss is growing on the ground. Special tide, there are several furry children, I see all. Pre-existing skin disease, now it relapses. So we'll try to figure it out in the next two days. Make a concrete floor for your furry kid. Today I invited a digger master. Well, we dug a deep drainage ditch outside the wall of our courtyard. It can solve the drainage problem of our yard. Another thing is that the landlord also came to help us today. The gravel in our yard. I also plan to replace the tiles in this small house. Put it in a small courtyard. But there is no way. We intend to say. Let's lay the cement floor for the furry kid. Our courtyard is about 200 square meters. We didn't plan to fight some time ago. Because we have seven layers of padding. Stone powder is relatively dry. But now there is no way. Another issue is cost. The cost of laying the 200 square meters of cement floor is about 10,000 yuan. Sometimes we want to wait. Wait until you have money, but now there is no way. We have to find a way to pave the concrete floor for our furry kids. It will be much drier after applying. Furry children will not get skin diseases. In addition, we have a lot of furry kids in our courtyard. There are more and more furry children. These kennels can't hold our furry children. We plan to lay the concrete floor and then give it to the furry children. Build a few more kennels for the fur kids. Let them just say a very wide life. It's really hot today. Thank you very much to our landlord. Braving this scorching heat to help us. We are now at noon. By the afternoon, the trencher master will come over and take our. Make the uneven ground level again. Let's fix the sunken area in the corner. When we contacted him, he was the cement flooring master. Two days. Just come over and lay our cement floor. Let's clean up the mess in the yard first. Prepare for the next step of floor laying. After the cement floor is ready. We also plan to build a few more kennels for our furry friends. Although we are now extremely short of manpower, material resources and funds. Shen Liu Mu Mu is still hospitalized in the hospital. Medical expenses are unknown. But building a safe home for our furry friends is urgent. With the arrival of the master, the ground began to be repaired. Weather forecast, typhoons and heavy rains are coming soon. For the safety of fur children. All plans must be accelerated and carried out in an orderly manner. Build a safe home for your furry friends before the rainstorm arrives. Thanks to fans, family members, and caring people from all walks of life. Stand together with us through thick and thin. Let's build a solid line of defense to protect the homes of stray furry friends.